Hello, my name is John and I'm the science educator for Fort Bend Children's Discovery Center. And we are in our How Does It Work exhibit sponsored by Ann and John Johnson. And in this exhibit, we're all the way at the back at our science station that is sponsored by Gulf Coast Medical Foundation and the May W. Tape DDS Pediatric Dentistry. And today we're gonna do a really quick experiment just using some paper and markers to learn about kind of the forgotten step of the water cycle called runoff. So what is runoff? Runoff is rain that falls to the ground but isn't necessarily absorbed by the ground. So this is the water that you might see running down the sidewalk, running down streets, or your driveway, and even the water that you see in our big bayou system that's here in Houston. All of that water we would consider to be runoff. And eventually it makes its way all the way down to Galveston Bay and out into our ocean. For today's experiment, you'll need paper, water, markers, and you'll need a tray because we're gonna make a little bit of a mess. The first step is to grab a sheet of paper and you're gonna crumple it up, unroll it, and then you're gonna crumple it up again. Now do this three, four, five times because this is what is eventually gonna become our mountain. Once you've uncrumpled your paper, this will kind of look like our mountain range from up above. If you were up in an airplane, this is what a mountain range would kind of look like. So you're gonna take your marker and you're gonna draw along the tops of the mountains. The darker you can make the lines, the better. And so what's really cool about this part is you can make each colored marker mean something a little different. So we could say that this blue is, this is just water, it hasn't picked up anything else. But we can use maybe red, this could be trash. So maybe this is rain has picked up some garbage. And this will make a little more sense once it starts raining, you'll get to see where all of this stuff actually will, will flow. And so we're drawing right now high up along the mountains. And the big thing about runoff is that it runs. And that's what this will demonstrate. So we'll add a little more color. And you can really add some deep dark colors and then you can kind of fluff your mountain up if it's hard to draw along the ridge. And then we have one final step and this is the fun one. So you'll need to go grab your water. So once you've added your different colors, you're gonna take your water. Now, if you have a squeezy bottle, that's great. If you don't, just pour a little bit of water at a time, and you're gonna aim it right on the different colors that you drew. And you're gonna start to see the water is gonna start to move. And this is our water that's not being absorbed. It is running down our mountains, and you can see that it changes color a little bit. So again, the, the darker you can make your lines, the better, because you can really see where all of this different water goes. And as I'm adding more water, you're seeing it's pooling in different areas. You can think of that kind of as, as lakes, or these can be kind of like rivers. So now that our water has flown down our mountain, you can see that if this was trash, the red, you can see that it has gone down to the same lake that water that didn't have garbage in it, and it's, and it's mixing together. So it's really important to make sure that our streets are clean because runoff water will move that down to water that we drink and out into our oceans. I hope you guys enjoyed doing this quick experiment to learn about runoff. Now, if you guys are following us through our YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. And again, my name is John coming to you from Fort Bend Children's Discovery Center, and we will see you next time.